Hey friends, welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are talking about our afternoon school routine and how you can create your own school routine for yourself and your kids and some tips that will definitely help you out. But first, really quick, if you're new here, my name is Crescent from the Millennial Suburban Mom based here in California. I'm a wife and stay at home mom to two boys. They are 13 and six years old. I create behind the scenes lifestyle content, cleaning, homemaking videos. So if you enjoy this, make sure you subscribe to join our family. We would love to have you. It really does go a long way in supporting this channel. Plus it makes sure that you never miss out on a video. Now I have a few things on my spring cleaning list that I really wanted to get done. And the first one was definitely getting these rugs from the kitchen cleaned. I feel like I have been talking about this for a few weeks now. And today it was actually really nice outside. It was around 70 degrees. And I was inspired by one of my neighbors. They were washing one of their rugs and I was like, you know what, that's a good idea. So I went outside, took my rugs and started hosing them down. And you guys, I'm so happy I did this because they are so fresh and clean. And I definitely recommend you doing this if you haven't had a chance to clean your rugs. Plus, I got a chance to do this while my youngest was out riding his bike. So I felt like it knocked two birds out with one stone. He got a chance to play and kind of run out a little bit of his energy. And I got a chance to clean our rugs. And honestly, I've always put this off because I felt like it was going to be like a chore and just a lot of work. But with it being so nice outside, it was really easy. So I'm definitely going to try and keep this up and do it every couple of months. All right, so we have the rugs hanging over the wall so it can dry. And then now I'm going to have to mop because the whole floor and everything's all wet. Okay, so my husband just got back from grocery shopping and I'm just gonna really quickly go through what we have. If you don't like grocery hauls, you can skip through this part, but I find it helpful whenever I watch them. So we got some Eggo waffles, just the regular kind. We also got strawberry. The boys love these, especially for breakfast in the morning. We have Cheez-Its, some applesauce. I like to mix this with our pancakes in the morning whenever I do like a batch of pancakes. That was my plan today, but I have to save that for another video. We have our chicken broth, Nature Valley. These are for Ryan. He likes these as a snack. And then we have some muffins, our taco kit for tacos, our chicken breast, gummies you guys these are the best gummies in my opinion we have some ajax we decided to get the big one so that i can use it to refill in the bottles some trash bags some nutrigrain bars these are mari's favorite cornbread eggs we grab some chicken some bread chicken noodle soup i like to eat this during the week for like lunch we grab some syrup some oil we also have a bag of ice. I'm gonna have to make room to put that in the freezer. Our 42 pack of chips for the boys lunch. Some peppers, uh, I was gonna say tomatoes, but oranges, ice cream, some spinach, juice, dial soap, our cleaning products. I'm going through this really fast because I have a lot to do. Um, we have our bread, some more muffins, lactate milk for the boys, they drink this, some Coke, and then also Canada Dry Ginger Ale. The Coke we have, this isn't to drink, this is for Ryan's uniform. He works in aviation, so a lot of times the jet fuel is really strong. So Coke will take the smell out of it. So if you have a husband or a wife that works in the service industry that is around like strong chemicals, like airplane, airplane fuel and stuff, Coke gets the smell out of it. We have our cherry mixed fruit. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, tricks, and then we have coffee for Ryan. He drinks coffee, some sub bread, bananas, toilet paper, more Cheez-Its, 
plain chips, ruffles, cheddar jalapenos. The boys like this, Ryan and Mari. This is Trey's favorite, the twisted. I used to love these too. The twisted honey barbecue Fritos. We have our vanilla wafers, Pepsi. That's for Ryan to actually drink. Brats, these are my favorite. I like these, especially like if I have like a sore throat or same thing for the boys, I'll give that to him. I give that to them. We have our coffee mate creamer, some pot pie, dino nugget to do another fridge reclean. Like not, I don't have a lot to do, but just kind of wipe everything off because as you can see, it just gets dirty fast, you know, as the boys open it, they go in there and grab things. So the shelves and stuff need to be clean. So I'm gonna quickly wipe this stuff down, get rid of some of the older food that we have. It's not a lot. Same thing for the freezer. Um, I need to get rid of like this chicken, that's the freezer burn. And just kind of go through stuff to make room for what we have, especially <laughs> this big bag of ice because we love ice, so I have to make room. So are you looking for some after school routines that will actually help your family? It seems like every year when I would start off with good intentions of having an after school routine and I would get into like a nice rhythm and then all of a sudden I would kind of fall short. I used to get so busy with like work and filming and other activities that I stopped enforcing my routine and then I was scrambling to get homework done, cook dinner, get the boys in the showers and just try and get them in the bed before the next day. And doing that was just kind of chaotic. Like every day was kind of different. The boys weren't really on a routine. Neither was I. Our nights were just chaotic. And then the mornings, they never really flowed either. We were just kind of rushing to get the boys to school. So it was kind of the same. But I finally feel like I have gotten to a point where we have a very consistent after school routine. And there are some benefits to a routine after school, especially as a mom. You will feel more organized and less likely to pull out your hair from screaming at your kids constantly, and you will be in control. So daily routines, they help your children with study habits, time management, listening, and following rules. My afternoon routine consists of when we get home, the boys will put their book bags down at the table. They take their shoes off. Every now and then I have to kind of remind them where to put their shoes because my youngest, he kind of just kicks his shoes off and, you know, throws it anywhere. So we're still working on that. But for the most part, I have them put their shoes like in the laundry room area. They'll go wash their hands for snack. I'll give them the snack and the snacks, it really depends on what you would want to give your kids. For the most part, I do like to give them fruit, but every now and then they want chips or like, you know, pop tarts or something, Nutri-Grain bars. So I don't mind that, but Mario will start on his homework and then I will go through Trey's book bag and his teacher kind of leaves a folder every single day. So I get a chance to look at the work that he's completed during the day. We'll go over sight words because we're starting to teach him how to read. My goal is to try and have him reading before the summer, before he goes to first grade. So I like to incorporate different things from home that I've been working. There's this curriculum that I started in the summertime and he worked really well with that. So I just kind of include that as a way to kind of give him a little bit of homework. And then we'll start going outside and let him get a little bit of fresh air and play. And really quick before I get back to the after school routine and tips and tricks, I wanted to kind of tell you what we were doing. We are restocking the fridge and freezer. For the most part, I'm almost done. I got a chance to wipe down everything. I put the drinks and stuff in here and I'm just kind of restocking and resetting our household for the week. My husband drinks coffee, so I like to put his pods like in this drawer and that sets him up so that when he has to go to work or if he's rushing for work, he already knows where his coffee's at. He just pulls his drawer open and gets his day started. Now, if you're new here, this is probably your first time seeing me do this, but I like to crunch my boxes up. I don't worry about, you know, tearing them, you know, ripping them open. I feel like this kind of gives me a chance to let out any frustrations that I've had for the day. If the kids are calling my name multiple times, I get a chance to let out my frustration by crunching these boxes down. <laughs> 
you should try it out it really does help out a little bit but i decided to put all of these in recycle and this is just how i do it saves me time and it's fun for me so once i'm done putting these boxes in recycle i'm going to restock our this is kind of like our back stock area i have like all of our cleaning supplies um self-care products toilet paper you know everyday essentials that we need toothpaste toothbrush i like to restock this every time we go to the grocery store so basically that's what i'm doing here we also have a load of laundry to do so we're going to go ahead and get back into the tips and tricks for after school routines now really quick if you're if your kids are school age kids and they are into sports that is going to vary so a typical after school activity would depend on like your beliefs your values whatever you and your family would like to do as far as responsibilities so for the most part our kids love basketball and they love football so mari just finished his football season for the school year and they ended up winning their championship so they were undefeated they were six and oh and they won their championship last friday it was so fun and it was such a nail biter i don't know if i mentioned that to you guys or not but hopefully i'm not repeating myself so again we like to do that for extracurricular activities but now that mari is not in school ball anymore we're debating on putting him in aau which he's done before but other things that you can include in your routine besides snack time is playtime. Of course, homework that's, you know, to be expected if your kids are of school age. You can include chores, screen time, outside playtime, and extracurricular activities like sports, music lessons. The list goes on. It's really up to you to decide what things you would like to include into your afternoon school routine but i just wanted to kind of give you some tips or just you know things that you can include if you haven't included those things in there it just really makes it fun plus it makes the time go by fast and before you know it it's already time for them to get ready for bed once they've had dinner <laughs> Now that I'm in the boys room, I'm refreshing their room. I'm not washing their bed sheets today because I just did that a few days ago. So I'm just re-tightening up their bed sheets. Now, one thing I did do in spring cleaning today was I washed their pillows. Now, normally I would wash it in the washer machine and I felt like that's kind of like an easy and fast method to do it. But I decided to actually let them soak in the bathtub today. And I will see if I can find that clip I don't think I actually have it, but there wasn't too much of a difference. Like I've seen some videos where people do that and the water is just like dirty and my water wasn't enough of a difference to actually, you know, show you. So I, I didn't keep that clip in, but I do like how that method worked. I just use regular laundry detergent. I didn't use a lot because I know the boys were going to sleep on it. And then I did actually use baking soda as well. I've seen you can also use essential oils. So I haven't tried that, but that's something you can do if you're interested in having your pillow smell really good. Or you can do that for yourself. But it made such a difference, you guys. And I'm definitely going to try this method with our pillows because the boys, they went straight to sleep on this night. It, I don't know what it was, but maybe it was the pillows were just a little more fluffy than normal. But it worked so that's something else on my list that I could check off for spring cleaning.
Okay, so I know I can't be the only one. Ladies, whenever you ask your husband to do something for you, like, hey, I need you to do this, I need you to do that, do they do it for you right away? Because I remember asking my husband to do something for me a few months ago, which I will do in this video. So I asked Ryan to hang the, the curtains for me, like the curtain rods, a few months ago. And I didn't think anything of it because, like I said, he works a lot and sometimes his schedule kind of shifts so i don't really get on him about it because whenever he has his time off you know i want him to kind of relax and enjoy his time off so today was the day where i was like you know what no more no more i want this curtain rod up myself so with that being said i'm really quickly vacuuming the rest of this hallway we're going to move into the living room i'm going to clean and tidy the living room living room up but we are going to hang this curtain rod today because i want to start looking for curtains i saw some curtains a while ago i had liked but they didn't fit and i had just stopped looking for them because we didn't even have the curtain rods hung so normally i'm kind of a diy girl i'll kind of do the projects that i know i can do myself but i felt a little intimidated with the curtain rods hanging them up because i didn't have a drill and I wasn't sure if I could do it or not, but I was able to finally get it up with like a hammer. I found some videos on YouTube and TikTok and I just kind of followed the directions. Now, I will say thank you to my mom for those gymnastic lessons. <laughs> I was in gymnastics for a few years and it's paying off you guys. I did not have a step stool to be able to reach the height that I needed. So I had to, I had to work with what I had. So I was able to finally get this curtain rod up and together and I'm so happy. Okay, so we have a little bit more laundry to do. Um, I'm probably not gonna show you guys that because it will take a while. And you've seen me do laundry before. So basically, all I have to do is fold these towels, put a new load in. I started cooking dinner for the boys, so their dinner should be ready. Let's check and see really quick. Okay, so I have pot pie in there for them. It's not ready yet, but it should be ready in about 15 minutes, so. Perfect timing because it's a school night and I need to make their lunches. I forgot all about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on their lunches as I do another load of laundry. And we are gonna wrap it up here, you guys. We are finished for today. Um, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think I should hang curtains up here or do you think that's too much? Cause I'm still not sure. I don't know if that would be too much because it's like a sliding door. I don't know. But yeah, so anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for the support and for watching this video all the way to the end. Let's leave a smiling emoji if you made it this far so I can see who the real MVPs are. If you enjoy these videos, please leave a comment and a like, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.